The BJP has been across castes and communities. The maturing of Indian democracy was evident as people decided to keep development over caste and community prejudices. Here's how. Uttar Pradesh and its politics have long been associated with caste and its various combinations. Caste, in fact, was the main axis around which the political calculus of the state revolved for many decades. Now that rotation has been grinded to a halt by the unprecedented victory of the BJP. The BJP wave has literally swept aside all calculations that were purely based on the numerical strength of the caste in the ballot area. They have done a penetration in all parties. Why did they get it? Because of it. People have been in the same way. Mayavati ke bhrashachar se parashan te, akhli shadow ke kanun vyaastha se parashan te. To ye combinations aise bane, jiske na te logo ko laga ki unko ek nai tarah ki hawa chahiye, ek badlao chahiye. Or Narendra Modi ne us badlao ki aguai ki. Narendra Modi ka jab chehra aaya, to logo ko laga ki nai ye ek badlao ki ka ausar hai. Or us badlao ke ausar me sab ne thoda thoda ord diya or ek bada score khada hua or ek aitihasik score khada hoga. In these elections, BJP secured a whooping. 3 crore 44 lakh 3039 votes while the Bahujan Samaj party could only manage 1 crore 92 lakh 81,352 votes. Samajwadi party came next after securing 1 crore 89 lakh 23,689 votes while the Congress could only manage 54 lakh 16,324 votes. Percentage wise BJP managed to secure 39.7 percent votes. Its ally Apnadal got 1% and Suhail Dev Bharati Samaj Party managed 0.7% votes. So the combined vote percentage of BJP and its allies stacks up to a comfortable 41.4%. BSP's share in the pie is 22.2% while Samajwadi Party got 21.8% and the Congress vote share was at 6.2%. For the past many elections, the common notion in Uttar Pradesh has been that only a favourable caste combination can guarantee the political party a shot at the power seat in Lucknow. This election virtually blew this theory to smithereens. The Mandal wave created space for political parties to exploit the caste calculus to their benefit, while the common man suffered the pangs of development for long periods. The political party, which got its combinations right, was catapulted to power for the next five years. UP caste cauldron is based on the way caste constitute the electoral pie in the state. The various castes are spread over the length and breadth of Uttar Pradesh. The biggest caste population wise is the backward community which constitutes a whooping 39% of the total population of the state. It consists of 12% Yadavs, 8% Kurmis and Satwars, 5% Jards, 4% Mallahs, 2% Vishwakarma and the rest forming 7%. Brahmins with 10% vote share lead the pack of forward community which commands 18% share in the population. Dalits account for 20% of the population while minorities are 18%. But this election in fact has relegated these statistics as unreliable and unwanted. The results of this election has proved that the voters are now not concerned about the caste of the candidates, rather they are more receptive of the development plan offered by the parties such as BJP. Voters have given enough chance to the caste-based parties and have seen the tenure of such governments. That's perhaps the reason why they have rejected everything else and have embraced development. The results have shown that banking on castes to grab power and brush other issues under the carpet won't work anymore. Only work will be rewarded. Caste-based politics have outlived their utility in the state of Uttar Pradesh. Newsnight Desk, DD News.